Carolina Pepper here. I want to do a three-part series on using a compass for navigation. In part one, we're just going to go over the compass and its functions and how it works. So let's talk about the compass without the aspect of the map. There is a very easy and basic, and this does not mean you can run off and live in the woods now once you complete this series, or these three-part series. The first thing you need to learn is the directions, north, south, east, and west. Look at the compass, and I'll point to them here. This is north, south, east, and west. Of all the directions on the compass, north is the most important. Now there are several kinds of compasses out there. <clears throat> For the sake of this example, we're going to look at a map compass. This is the orientating arrow. This is the compass needle. This is your direction of travel. These are the orientating lines. And this is the compass housing or bezel. It's turnable and rotates. You see this red and white arrow? It's called a compass needle. Well, in some compasses it may be red and, and black, but in this instance it's white. But the point is, the red part is always pointing towards Earth's magnetic north pole. Got that? That's basically all you need to know. It's as simple as that. But if you don't want to go north but a different direction, well, hang on. I'll get to it. You got this turnable thing on your compass. We call it a compass housing. On the edge of the compass housing, you will, you'll have a scale from 0 to 360. These are the degrees of azimuth. You may also have heard it called bearing in old text, where I'm going to take a bearing and do this and that. That's, that's what they're referring to. You should also have these letters, N, S, W, and E. They stand for north, south, east, and west. If you want to go in a direction between these, you would combine them. If you'd like to go in a direction between northwest, you'd simply say, I'm going to go northwest. <clears throat> Let's use it as an example. If you want to go northwest, what do you do? You find out a direction where the compass housing is pointing northwest. Then you turn your compass housing so northwest on the housing comes exactly where the largest direction of travel arrow meets the housing here. Now hold the compass in your hand. You have to hold it quite flat so the compass needle can turn and rotate freely. And then you turn yourself with your hand, or in your hand, the entire compass. Just make sure the compass housing doesn't turn. And turn it until the compass needle is aligned with the lines inside the compass housing. In this case, they'll be aligned north. Now, you need to be really careful. It's extremely important that the red north part of the compass needle points towards north in the compass housing. If south points at north, you would walk in the direction exactly opposite of where you want to go. And it's a very common mistake in the beginning with beginners. So always take a second look to make sure the red part of the compass, the needle the north, is lined up with north and you did it right. The second problem you might run into are local magnetic attractions. If you carry something iron or metallic, you might disturb the arrow. Even a staple in your pocket, if this compass is sensitive enough, will we'll move it. Make sure there's nothing of, the, of that sort around. There, there is a possibility for magnetic attractions coming to the soil. It's kind of rare. It's called magnetic deviation. And it's rare, but it happens if you're like near mining or, or near a lot of metal objects, like in the middle of town or mag magnetic ore in the ground or whatever. Anyway, when you're sure you got it right, you walk off in the direction of travel that the big red arrow, or in this case red arrow, is pointing. To avoid getting caught, or getting, getting lost or off course, 
what you want to do is look at something in the distance that's far away like a tree and that's in the direction you want and you walk towards that tree and then when you get to that tree you take another compass heading or bearing etc but you aim at the point in the distance and go there this gets more important when you're using a map but right now we're just talking about the compass and how it itself works uh, there's something you should look to avoid going the opposite direction like the sun at noon when the sun is roughly in the south or in the north if you're in the northern hemisphere so if you're heading north and have the sun in your face that might be a problem that should ring a bell um, you don't really need that unless you're without a map somewhere but basically if you're going to be on about, and, you know, there's something that's north of you or south of you or whatever, there's a big stream, you can tell, you know, north or south by the sign, but that's very, very general. But you need to just know that right there is the very first part and basic of how a compass works. Okay, now in part two, we'll talk about putting on a map and actually using it. Okay, that's North Carolina Prepper, end of part one.